Hello, my name is Sua Pue Guama, and ouch, this thing stings actually. Welcome to my channel, and this rose is for you, darling. Stay beautiful and stay blessed, and don't, don't, don't forget to be kind today. So, Namplanje, this is going to be quick and brief, and this beautiful rose is just going to be with me, showering me and pampering me with love. <laughs> As you guessed, today we speak about love, love, love. Cool. So initially I wanted to talk about, you know, um, how do you know you are loving from a wound? And when you go into a relationship, how do you then know that actually, hey man, Appa, I'm loving from a wound. How do you discern? Where does, like, how do you start to discern that you're actually loving somebody from a wound and how does it feel on your body when you give this love to somebody? That's what I want to talk about. But as I was taking down the notes, I then decided that, Hori, wait a king, let me actually talk about self-love. Self-love. Loving yourself loudly and boldly as a black woman, especially a woman. As a woman, as a person just in general how do we how how do i give love to myself how do i know that i'm giving love to myself out of deep love and how do i know that the love that i'm giving to myself isn't wounded that was the question then you know it's then the question started to change it wasn't um, how do I know that I'm loving somebody from a wound to how do I know that I'm loving myself from a wound? How do you discern these things? Okay, move the rose, move the rose. Roses are red and truths are red. Blood is red and so am I. <laughs> so self-love is the best love. We've all had that quote uh, statement and but nobody ever takes you through you know how to love yourself and i mean um it's all fucked up it's all fucking fucked up because you 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 grow up as a child and and maybe you love yourself and maybe you don't and maybe you don't even know that you love yourself but you give yourself the sort of you know love that is is deep and because it comes it's it's natural it flows through you so easily like water but as you grow, because you receive love from then your, your parents and then you receive love from your family and you receive love, you know, externally. And then, you know, then your perception to love kind of like as you grow kind of changes. And maybe sometimes you kind of forget how to love if you even loving yourself. You know, it's never a question or, you know, it's always do I love this person? And it's never a question of do I love myself enough to love this person um yeah so these won't be useful to me so um it's it's as you grow as well I'm gonna talk about me because it is my experience it is my journey as I as as I grow I realize that we care so much about how we love others we care deeply about how we give others how we give love to others then we give love to ourselves and as i was walking today in the morning i found myself questioning you know this this thing of of of, of having to, to 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 show up for other people having to to always give and give and give and give but you know you're just running yourself empty and running yourself dry and um yeah so yeah that that's where we are like how the fuck do i love myself as a black woman and like i guess first you have to discern you have to understand that you have wounds right we all do and and um and those wounds run deep and those wounds can um you know um influence the way you you love to you you, you love people they can influence your relationships with people, your relationships with family as you grow, because then they become your ones. And as much as maybe those ones are, you know, you take, they are from, you know, family ones, inner ones, you know, uh, generational ones, but they still ones and they become yours when you grow and you have to heal them. And so 
I'm learning, I'm here and I'm learning to love myself and I, I, I find myself um, wanting to dive deeper into how do I then, you know, come to that center where I feel so, so full in myself and like overlooking my body and overlooking, you know, everything that was ever, that ever made me feel inadequate and like that thing from you know growing up and being teased and being bullied about your traits your features and whatever and being black and just you know sometimes being ignored and sometimes feeling inferior in a space and i've learned that take space take space as i was like as i wanted to talk about this topic i found myself doing so much research and i asked myself why are you doing research you want to speak your heart do you want to speak your truth why should i do research when i'm speaking my truth take space and honor your truth your truth is yours and no one can tell you otherwise like no one can tell you no you can't say that that's your truth you honor it and that's how we start to love ourselves and just not being shy to share your truth because someone might find it more inferior or just not important or just invalid like share your damn truth like it's your truth speak from your heart say what you want to when you want to say it and secondly well that's firstly speak your fucking truth it's your truth it's your wounds it's your scars it's yourself if you want to say something, say it the way it is. And don't don't be finicky about how the next person is going to receive it, how they're going to feel. We'll deal with that after it happens. But right now, it's about you and yourself. And that's where self-love starts to, you know, come out and rise. That's firstly. Secondly, hey, love yourself boldly and loudly. And what do I mean by that? Like... Don't, I would love to use an example, but I don't have one. But don't do things because you want to please the next person, because you want this person to, to, to love you a bit more, and you want to do a bit more pleasing for this person. Maybe you, you kind of put your values aside because you want this person to see you. No, don't compromise yourself for the next person. Yes, compromises happens, but when you're married. Before that, uh-uh, whoa must wait it must wait compromises must wait before you are married don't compromise yourself for someone else's values stick to your truth stick to your values and never never compromise your values for someone else's truth and lastly 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 stay in your lane Manda says stay in your lane know your magic Stay in your lane. You are magic. You are beautiful. You are potent. You are powerful. Stay in your lane. Know yourself. Know thyself. Know yourself. Know how you want people to receive you. Know how you want... When you walk outside, how do you want people to receive you? Do you want to be seen as this gorgeous, beautiful person with blonde hair, blonde armpits, with tattoos, and maybe she doesn't like to dress... Or do you want to be seen as this powerful, potent, divine woman that is godly and that is of God and that is of divine and that is of nature? And how do you want people to receive you? And that's just like the last thing. How do I want people to receive me? And how do I want to receive people? And I mean, when you know how you want people to receive you, it's easier for people to receive you. And then it's easier for people to even like be vulnerable with you you know to to share with you so vulnerability is, is essence vulnerability is life and yes and so that's pretty much it and i mean like if you have more ways on you know tips and tipperonies on how the fuck do i love myself as a woman as a black woman as a person as a soul as a healing woman as a dealing woman as a single woman how the hell do i love myself Feel free to comment, like, guys, comment, hit me up on Facebook, like, hit me up on Instagram, and just, and just tell me, like, um, 
I just want to open space for those conversations and I just want to open space for more self love and you know less 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 love for other people not that i'm saying don't give love to other people do it but then you, we need to be full first like more love for ourselves and more how to how do i love myself how how do i want to be loved and less bullshit more love for self and less bullshit because then i've learned that all those you know um you know red flags and like fighting to love other people and that time you're just running on on dry rivers on drought uh -uh, it's not healthy it is not healthy so ladies gentlemen and everybody like you beautiful person like let's start those conversations i really want to take space on like this kind of matters and just coming from a background where you're not taught to love yourself but you're taught to love everyone else and you're constantly reminded to love everyone else but yourself how do you choose yourself first when you constantly constantly told to choose somebody else Amago. hit me up